weather waits for no man, does it? Well, it's Thursday. That means another Central Alabama teacher is making plans to spend a $1,000 grant. Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gann shows us how she'll use that money to help her students learn one skill. Show me your magic wiggly fingers for me really super fast. These students are learning the basics of coding. You're going to use the same type of blocks. Mm -hmm. So what's your strategy for this one? Their teacher, Jill West, says that coding begins like a video game on the computer, then expands into areas like robotics. A hands-on approach to it using robots and using tablets. So we're seeing more than one piece of it. And they're getting to build on a video game aspect of it, but they're also seeing um, the robotic piece of it as well. And so to help Ms. West get more supplies to teach coding and robotics, we surprised her with a one class at a time grant. We are going to grant you with $1,000. And you are our winner this week for our one class at a time. So how will Miss West spend her $1,000? I want to further our coding program here um, with our students and be able to buy more um, robots for our, my students to use with coding. I want to thank um, CBS 42 and the Eco Credit Union for this opportunity and giving my students this. If you're a teacher and you'd like to apply for a one class at a time grant, go to CBS42.com.